What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We've got Spidey over here, my grandma stole La Rosea, and today we're going to be talking about for Tarantula Tuesday, what happens when spiders go to space. I have been finding all sorts of really interesting studies, research articles, findings about spiders, and I want to share them with you because I don't think that we have like one hub for all of this information. And I think we all find information from like scattered pieces on the internet. So I hope that, you know, at least in my efforts, I can kind of bring some of it together so that you guys know past studies and also what is being looked at um, throughout the rest of the world or history. Spiders have gone to space and people studied what happened when spiders go to space. A NASA study of spiders have led to some cool findings. Um, particularly about how spiders use light and gravity and web making. So when spiders are on earth, they build asymmetrical webs with the center displaced towards the upper edge. When resting, spiders sit with their head downwards because they can move towards freshly caught prey faster in the direction of gravity. And this changed in the study when these spiders went to space, there was no gravity obviously. Um, and it was found that the spiders could actually spin webs that were more symmetrical without gravity. So how crazy is that? They studied this by having three cameras on the spider's webs, taking pictures every five minutes to observe the spiders. The images found that the spiders in space, their center of the web was closer to the middle and the spiders did not always keep their heads downwards. Another interesting finding had to also do with the lighting. So researchers noticed that it made a difference where the spiders built their webs, whether they were in the lamplight or in the dark. It turns out that webs built in the light were asymmetrical, like terrestrial webs. So it seemed like they used the light to orient themselves. One of the scientists analyzed this and he said, we wouldn't have guessed that light would play a role in orienting the spiders in space. We're very fortunate that the lamps were attached to the top of the chamber and not on various sides. Otherwise, we would not have been able to discover the effect of light on the symmetry of webs in zero gravity. So the light also impacted how these spiders oriented on their webs. Um, only when the lights were turned on would the spiders orient themselves away and downward. Before this discovery, we didn't know that light played any role in how spiders orient themselves, considering that their webs could catch prey, whether it's light or dark out. But the spiders in this experiment were actually trying to use the light to orient themselves where there was no gravity. So the scientists found, and this is what they said, Spiders have a backup system for orientation like this, and it seems surprising since they have never been exposed to an environment without gravity in the course of their evolution. Scientists believe that without light or gravity to help them orient, they could actually become confused in web making. And the scientists said, the organ responsible for this sense registers the relative position of the front part of the body to the back. During construction of the web, the two body parts are in constant mo motion, so an additional orientation aid based on the direction of the light is particularly useful. It's pretty cool. Um, there's actually a great video about this experiment that uh, shows the spiders, and I'm going to link that in the description below. Definitely check that out. Um, I love this because, you know, while I'm never sending my spiders to space, and I, you know, I think it's crazy and interesting that we send spiders to space in a weird experiment. I really like this article because it shows that our understanding of these creatures is very limited um, because our experiments are limited and uh, we can really, like the more we open up and put these creatures in different situations to see how they behave, the more we can learn about them and, and learn very surprising things about them. And I think that we can say that about anything we're trying to study and understand in our world but you know especially for spiders as it's a very understudied um, and less cared about part of our research so i hope that was interesting for you i know that in our news um, more people are going to space there's a lot more interesting findings about new planets and things that we're finding in space which are pretty cool i thought you guys might like to know that yes we can also send spiders to space and study them and that they actually uh, do quite well in zero gravity.
and build beautiful symmetrical webs. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that Anyway, I hope that interests you, something new, right? We wanna learn something new every single day. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care, bye-bye.